Hey guys, recently I switched to Figma from Adobe XD and something that fascinated me the most about Figma was the way Figma handled components and how you can easily switch between different components. If you remember clearly, some months ago I released a short video on how to design better cards. So when I came back to Figma or rather when I switched to Figma, I thought about how designing cards could be more efficient when you combine it with the way Figma handles components. What do I mean? Let's get started. We are going to create a card. So I'm going to duplicate this and give this a color. Let me get a fine color from um, Color Hunt. And I'm going to keep that this color here. All right. So now I duplicated this because this other color is what would hold whatever patterns we are going to use for this particular card. So on this one, let me quickly create um, some patterns. So this can be anything, right? This can be any pattern you wish. So I'm just going to quickly create some circles. Then I'm going to mask it inside of this. I'm going to mask it inside of this rectangle that I had initially duplicated. So it looks something like this. So the mask, you align it with your rectangle. Select the circles that we had created and give them a blend of uh, multiply. So it looks something like this. Let me add text so that it looks more realistic. This is just to hold that space so that we can have something realistic staying up there so it doesn't look bland. Right. What do I mean by using components and cards? Let's make this initial mask that we've created a component. So let's rename it to card style. Then using the Figma convention, naming convention, card style slash one. So that means I want this first, this one to be my first card style. Let me make this a component. So you make a component, color changes to purple on the layer. I'm going to duplicate this, then detach instance so that I can edit it. This particular one, I am going to adjust these circles to suit what I want. For example, let me create another style. So the idea is just to create different patterns. So this particular one again, I'm going to call it card style two, and then make it a component also. All right. So let's create another one. Let's duplicate this and then um, detach instance. Then also create a new set of patterns. So now these patterns are just purely experimental, they can be anything. So I'm going to call this card 3. You can have as many cards as you want. So I'm going to make this a component again. So now what fascinates me is how I can come to this first card here. And then, okay, this is a master. Let me create a... So you select this one. Let me move this away. So let's we'll duplicate this. So that means this is acting as the master. And here, what fascinates me, let me bring this here and delete this. So using this Figma naming convention, we've told Figma that these are variants. So I can always come here to this one, select over here and just change whatever pattern I want. 
from what I had initially created. So let's say I have up to 50 styles. You can just easily just come here and then switch between different styles. So now to make this a realistic project, let me create a new frame. So let's say these cards are all are holding different values, right? So I can just come, say I was working on a project initially and I, I don't like the patterns. I can just come and change the pattern to what something I initially created. It could be circles, it, be, it could be squares, it could be triangles, it could be anything that you had initially created. And then this would be useful for you all through your project. Cheers.